that Krukaka is a Norwegian cookie. It's very delicate and crisp and usually rolled in a cone shape like this. Although uh, Ethel said sometimes I use a cylinder, so it's round. Yeah. And the Krukaka irons, or the tradition of making Krukakas, as well as the other Norwegian cookies, I mean, came with the immigrants when they came, the Norwegian immigrants when they came over in the mid 1800s, started coming over at that time, and, and they brought their Krukaka irons with them. So, as I was mentioning, you know, if you can imagine, you're moving your whole life, your whole household, and you've got an immigrant trunk. And they were big trunks, but they weren't like our U-Haul moving vans. And you somehow manage, you know, of all the things you had to leave behind, you brought this. Some of them were family heirlooms, you know, because of the carvings on the inside. And you can see this one has hearts and leaves and flowers, and mine has little hearts and flowers. And it's very, you see that kind of design all over Norwegian folk art, like the chip carving or the rose mulling. You want to hold that up? I used to get 300 of those and take them to wherever we hit our Christmas. 300? That must have taken a long time. I, I don't mean 300, I meant three dozen. Oh, three dozen? <laughs> well, that still takes a while, doesn't it? That's not a cup of tea. That's hard. That's especially with the single one. Yeah. And um, the Krukaka, though, were, they predated, you know, immigration. Uh, they were making Krukakas when they were still using open flames to cook on. And for those Krukaka irons, because you're, you're trying to cook over an open flame in a fire, place you got I mean you kiss you can't get close you know you can't get in there like this you had to have a crookaka iron with really long handles and they called those handles raids yeah uh, is that a Norwegian delicacy it is a Norwegian yeah, because cookie my daughter mother-in-law made piles of them and then she'd give them to all the neighbors yeah yeah last night I made a pile too <coughs> so I brought some so we could eat That's right away I made too. I made yep. three, three batches of this you did I made two wow we should have called each other got together <laughs> I don't remember how many and then after they had they started having stoves flat top stoves whether it was you know the wood burning cast iron or the grass or electric <laughs> Then they could they, then they could get in nice and close, you know. And they shortened the handles, and they flipped them, and had these holders so you wouldn't have to hold them. But can you imagine the ones with the really long handles and those iron plates? Yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, how heavy would that be? And then you've got you know six kids you're trying to wrangle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> those Norwegian grandmas—they were something, huh? Yeah. No wonder they said ufta. Ufta. <laughs> And uh, I don't know when they, they um, came up with, probably in the 1950s, like the, the, this waffle iron type, where you can cook them two at a time, and both sides cook at the same time, so it's really fast, you know. You can really make a lot in a short period of time. Yeah, yeah because it, those are other kinds. We just made one at one side, and then you had a turn and cook it. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed that, you know, with a lot of these old Norwegian, Delicacy, like you mentioned, Ethel rolling left side. I mean, all these things really take a lot of time and energy, don't you? And the crew or the sambacal with pressing the dough into those little tins. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was always my job to bring all that Norwegian stuff to the when we had got together. Is that right? They knew you were a good Norwegian yeah, cook. We could do a lot of un Norwegian stuff. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take long for them to get hard, does it? They get very crispy fast. Yeah. This won't take long to cook. I don't know now there's different philosophies. I like them a little, just about turning golden brown. I know some good Norwegians though, they have to be white. Yeah, I had a couple of eyes on the table. There you go. And I like to use them. Do you like to come bring them off and then roll them like Audrey does? Very good, yeah. Yeah, I think these are the easiest things. And, you know, people love them. We had a 
and two of it, you roll them on. Yeah, so they made more of a cylinder. Yep, I've seen that too. Yeah. And they have such pretty designs on them, don't they, with the little hearts and flowers? Yes. There. Yum. Yeah, this, uh, I remember, you know, that one on the burner one at a time, but these electric ones are pretty darn fast, isn't it? Yeah, and the heat is constant. Yeah. Yep, they really come together fast that way. Yeah. This year, I, I <clears throat> when I took them off, I had a, a cupcake tray, and I made cups out of them. Oh, yeah. And then I filled them with... Uh, yeah, and, and you can do that because they're really yeah, you got, you got, you got to do it right away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Yeah. 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 You know, we talked about the Sombacos and Lefsa and Badiman and these Krumkaka, you know, um, even though maybe we don't speak Norwegian anymore, like Marie said, and you know, we don't dress in the Norwegian clothes, but a lot of times, whether we're Norwegian or German, the food is, is kind of the thing that people hold on to, the cultural part of the food. And, um, you know, these cookies, you can smell them, and don't they remind you of childhood and Christmas and good memories? That's why they're so important to all of Take it off the grill and roll it, or leave it on the grill and roll it. But it's the things that you have to learn from grandmas and moms, you know, and pass that along to your kids and grandkids, right? Yes. And you were a young gal when you did that. Well, wow. oh, that today is the day. Here, we'll give Oliver the flag. <laughs> and they don't take long. I just kind of their Don't you love that smell? Okay. And when you make a mistake, that's okay, right? Because what do you say? How is it? <laughs> Here. Why not? Yeah. 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 Another one, Elmer? You want another one? Those are pretty good, aren't they? <laughs>